Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing a quick review for this Asus Zenfone C which is a budget oriented Android device and I have been testing this device as my secondary phone for almost two weeks now and I'll make this review very quick. I'll share the pros and cons with this device. What are the things I like with this Asus Zenfone C and the things that I don't like and I hope that will help you in deciding if this phone is for you or not. So here is the Asus Zenfone C and before we proceed let me give you a configuration overview of the Zenfone C. The Zenfone C is powered by an Intel Atom processor which is a dual core processor clocked at 1.2 GHz and it has 1 GB of RAM. Regarding GPU, it is powered by the PowerVR SGX544 GPU. It has 8 gigs of internal storage, a micro SD card slot and the battery is a 2100 mAh battery. The rear facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter with LED flash whereas the front facing camera is just a VGA camera. And the screen size is 4.5 inch screen and the screen resolution is not very high. It's just 480 by 854. Hence the PPI is actually pretty low that is 218. Now the good thing that I like about this device is the Intel Atom processor that is used. It is actually very fast and if you notice uh, in the UI it is very fluid. When we talk about the UI it's a custom UI known as Asus Zen UI and it does offer a lot of functionality and uh, it is actually pretty fluid. We have all the standard things like widgets etc you can add that and uh, it runs the phone actually pretty well in my opinion. Now if we talk about the pricing, this phone is sold in India via Flipkart and they are sending this phone on Flipkart for 6000 rupees. That's just around 100 US dollars. And if you're planning to buy this phone, please use the link in the show notes. It does help the channel. Now if we talk about the Android version that is used on this, uh, it is the Android version 4.4.2 which is KitKat. And uh, as I mentioned, it has one gig of RAM and it performs actually pretty well. One good thing I noticed with this device is that it has a micro SD card slot. The back can be easily opened. Let me just show you that. And you can, and I would suggest that you pop in a micro SD card because you can move some of the apps, etc. directly to the SD card. As you can see, I added a SD card and this is a dual SIM device. So you can add two SIMs. I did all my testing with just a single SIM. And uh, when we talk about cellular call quality here also, I was actually pretty impressed. The cellular call quality was very good. And even the earpiece that we have is very good. So the call quality was very nice. Let me actually show you. Let me dial a number and let me put it on speakerphone. So as you can see the speaker output is actually pretty good. It is not like the Zenfone 5 which has very low speaker output. I would say it is adequate for speakerphone performance and also the cellular call quality as I mentioned is actually very good on this device. Also the Google Now functionality etc work very well. For example, what's the weather like? It's 27 degrees with haze in Hyderabad. So that works pretty fine. And as I mentioned in general operations, the phone performs actually very well. And this is the multitasking tray. And as you can see, I'm running so many apps. Then also it runs it actually pretty well. Uh, if we talk about the multi-touch point, it has five multi-touch points. And uh, the touch sensitivity of this device is actually very good. But one thing to notice that in terms of sensors, uh, Asus did skimp it up a little bit. For example, as you can see, it runs the Intel Atom processor, which is a dual core processor, but it has hyper threading. So the Android OS sees it as a quad core processor. But when we talk about the sensors, we have very limited amount of sensors, just the accelerometer, proximity sensor and the auto brightness sensor. We don't have fancy sensors like gyroscope, etc. But for what it is for the price, it does perform actually pretty well. I also did some gaming with this device and as you can see I played some heavy games with this device like Asphalt 8, Dead Trigger 2 and Modern Combat 5. Even on Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5 it could play them uh, actually pretty well. But one thing I did notice is that after extended gaming the device tends to get a bit hot so you got to be aware of that. But it could play most of the games without any issues and the good thing is that as I mentioned you should add a micro SD card because some of the heavy games were movable to the SD card. For example, let me show you. 
this modern combat is a heavy game and i could move most of the game to the sd card so you can move some of the uh, games to the sd card on this uh, from this device so that's a good thing for example dead trigger also i could move most of the game to the sd card not every app is movable to the sd card but some of the apps are movable so i would suggest that if you buy this device put a sd card because internal storage though it has 8 gb you hardly get just about 4.5 gigs or so now if we move to the camera the rear facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and on paper it can also record video up to 1080p but in terms of actual performance i was not happy with the camera performance because the photos that it takes with the camera are actually very average the color accuracy is not that great and the pictures look very artificial and extra saturation is also there uh, so i was not happy with the camera performance i also shot a video in 1080p but as you can see the video quality is also again very average the video is very soft to my liking for a 1080p video moving to the front facing camera also it's just a vga camera hence we can't expect too much and again as you can see the quality is very average so to sum it up i would say the camera on this device is nothing great to talk about it is very average in my opinion so what do I feel about this Asus Zenfone C? The first thing that I really liked about this phone and you have seen from this review is how fluid this phone is. The Intel Atom processor runs this phone very well and it's very fluid in operations. It's very smooth even in multitasking though it has just one gig of RAM. Also the touch response is excellent on this device. And I also like the Asus Zen UI. It does offer a lot of functionality to this device. Now if we talk about some of the cons with this device is the battery. The, the battery that is a 2100 mAh battery is simply not as great as compared to many other Android phones in this price bracket. I would say the battery life is very average and I did my testing with just a single SIM. Just imagine what will be the performance if you use the dual SIM option. Also when we talk about the camera, both the rear facing camera as well as the front facing camera are are actually very poor the color accuracy is off very off the pictures are very saturated and they look actually very unnatural so i was not happy with the camera performance of this device both the rear facing as well as the front facing camera also one thing i did notice is that though the phone is very fluid in operations and it runs actually uh, things very well even high-end games it could run very well but one thing i did notice is that uh, the phone tends to uh, warm up pretty quickly even when you use the camera the phone tends to get warm pretty quickly so heating is an issue it gets actually pretty warm while using the device also the last con is the actual screen quality the screen quality in my opinion is very average it's not bad but again these days we have a lot of other phones in the market in this price brand for example the redmi uh, uh, 1s which is available for around 6000 the same price as this device that phone has a lot better screen and even the camera compared to this one and i would say if you can up your budget a little bit more we also have the lenovo a6000 which is available for 7000 and i feel that is a much better phone compared to this asus zenfone c so i would say this is an okay phone for the price it does the job but again it's not among the best i hope that this video review helps you in making the right decision if this phone is for you or not i hope that this video was helpful if you found it helpful i'll appreciate if you can click the like button and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video